O Lord, thy grace into our hearts, that as we have known the incarnation of thy Son, Jesus Christ, by the message of miracles, so by his cross and passion may we come to the glory of his resurrection. Through the same Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. In the Levati Zichili, Yesi tu Santi Ande, in Doi Borotare De, Ede Mudi Dije, in Mudi Dugumel, in Mudi Tabe De, Sedition of Tabernan De Gente, non Santa, and Ovin in Ever Tor Dos Torre, Quietus Deus Tori Dugumel. Laureamus omnes in Domino, Dium festum celebrante, sub honore beate, agate, vecinis et martiris, de cuius passione gaudent angeli et calaudant filium dei, eluctavit for meum verbum bonum, dico ego opera mea regi. Gloria patri et filio et spiritui santo, si poderat in principio et nunc et semper, et in secula seculorum amen. Laureamus omnes in Domino, Dium festum celebrante, sub honore beate agate, vecinis et martiris, de cuius passione gaudent angeli et calaudant filium dei. Iria eleison, Iria eleison, Iria eleison, Christa eleison, Christa eleison, Christa eleison, Iria eleison, Iria eleison, Iria eleison. Gloria in excelsis Deo, et in terra pax ovinibus bone voluntatis, laudamus te, benedicibus te, adoramus te, glorificamus te, Grazit agimus tibi propria magum gloriam tuam. Domine Deus, Rex Celestis, Deus Patir Omnipotens, Domine Filio Unigenite, Iesu Christe. Domine Deus, Aurius Dei, Filius Patris, Vitoris Peccatum Mundi Miserere Nobis. 
می توانید به کارت بومدی سوشی پیدا اپلیکاسی آن نداختن. ای سریس دکسران آتیس میزده در نویس. و آنیم تو سالو سانتوس تو سالو دامینوس تو سالو سالتیسیموس یسوع کریست. اون سانتو سپیریتو این گلوری دی پاتیس. آمین. Ex vobis et cum spirito tuo. Ordemus. Deus, qui intercede la potentia tua miracula et siam in se suffragili victoria martiri contumisti, concede propitius, ut qui berate adate virginus et martiris tuae na delizia colis, per reus et exemple tradiam. Per Domino nostro, Iesu Christum Filio Tui, qui tecum de vita regna ad unanitate et spiritus sancti Dei, per Romia, secula, seculorum. Amen. Ex episodi beati Paolo Iposti et Corinthios. Frates, videte evocationem vestram, qui al non multi sapiente secundum carnem, non multi potentes, non multi nobiles, se questuntas sunt mundi elegi Deis, ut confundam sapientes, et in firma mundi eregi Deus, ut confundat forzia, et in obilia mundi, et contemptibilia eregi Deus, et ea quae non sunt, ut ea quae sunt destrueret, ut non glorietur omnis caro in conspectu eus. Ex ipso autem vos estis in Christo Iesu, qui vacus est nobis sapientia ad eo, et justitia et sanctificatio et redemptio, ut quae mat modum scriptum est, Qui gloriatur in Domino glorietur. Deo gratiam. Adjuvabit eam Deus voltus suum, Deus in medio eus non promovebitur, tu ministri teicus letifica civitatem Dei, sanctificabit abonaculum suum altissimus. Qui seminat in lacrimis in gaudio metem, e untes ai planti flebant metente semina sua, venientes autem venient cum exotazione, potantes maniculus suum. Dominus Obiscum, et cum Spirito Tuo, sequentia Sancti Evangelii, secundo Meteum, Gloria Tibi Domine. In eo tempore, e cesero da Iesu, talisse e tentantes egum, dicente, si dice comini dimiteri uxorum suorum, qua cunque es causa. Qui responde in Zeteis, non legisti istria, due feci comium ad inizio, mascum et femenam feci Deus. E dicit, Propte hoc imite homo patrem et matrem, et et erebe tu sorre sue, et erum deo duo in carne una. Itaque la non sum duo, sed una carne. Quod ergo deus comuncit, homo non separa, separe. Si confili, quid ergo moesis mandavit dare libellum repudii et imitere. E dilis, quodia moesis ad duritiam cordis vestit anisse bobis imitere u sordes vestas, Ab initio ua autem non crueti, si. Dico autem vobis, quia quia cumque enti miseri tu cux ordem suam, nisi ob opotumicationem, et aliam duxerit vocatur, et quid missam duxerit vocator. Dicum de discipuli eis, si iter es causa hominis cum ux orde, non expedit nubere. Quid ixi dilis, non omnes capium verbum istus et quibus datum es, Sunt eum e nunci, qui de matis utero signati sunt, et sunt unici, qui facti sunt ad hominibus, et sunt unici, qui se epsus castaverunt propter regnum celorum. Qui potes capre, capiat. Laus, tibi Christ. It's the Feast of St. Agatha, Virgin and Martyr. The lesson is taken from the Epistle of Blessed Paul the Apostle to the Corinthians. Brethren, you see our calling 
how that not many wise men after the flesh, not many mighty, not many noble are called. But God hath chosen the foolish things of the world to confound the wise. And God hath chosen the weak things of the world to confound the things which are mighty. And base things of the world and things which are despised hath God chosen. Yea, and things which are not to bring no nor which are not to bring to naught things that are, that no flesh should glory in his presence. But of him are ye in Christ Jesus, who of God is made unto us wisdom and righteousness and sanctification and redemption, that according as it is written, he that glorieth, let him glory in the Lord. And the, the gospel today is a continuation of that according to St. Matthew. At that time the Pharisees came unto Jesus, tempting him and saying unto him, Is it lawful for a man to put away his wife for every cause? And he answered and said unto them, Have ye not read that he which made them at the beginning made them male and female, and said, For this cause shall a man leave father and mother, and shall cleave to his wife, and they twain shall be one flesh? Wherefore they are no more written. They are no more twain, but one flesh. What therefore God hath joined together, let not man put asunder. They say unto him, Why did Moses then command to give a writing of divorcement, and to put her away? He saith unto them, Moses, because of the hardness of your hearts, suffered you to put away your wives, but from the beginning it was not so. And I say unto you, Whosoever shall put away his wife, except it be for fornication, and shall marry another, committeth adultery. And whoso marrieth her which is put away, doth commit adultery. His disciples say unto him, If the case of the man be so with his wife, it is not good to marry. But he said unto them, All men cannot receive this saying, save they to whom it is given. For there are some eunuchs which were so born from their mother's womb, and there are some eunuchs which were made eunuchs of men. And there be eunuchs which have made themselves eunuchs for the sake of the kingdom of heaven. He that is able to receive it, let him receive it. Ave Maria, gratia plena Dominus tecum, benedicta tu mulieribus e benedictus fructus ventris tui, Jesus. Sancta Maria, Mater Dei, ora pro nobis peccatoribus, nunc in orari mutis nostre. Amen. In nomine Patris e Filii e Spiritus Sancti. Amen. Chris, my beloved in Christ, welcome to this broadcast Mass on this, the feast of Saint Agatha of Sicily, who hailed either from uh, Catana, where her tomb was, or from Palermo, and born around the year 231 AD. She was of noble parentage, but had consecrated herself from a young age to Christ. She, however, <coughs> caught the, the attention, excuse me, <coughs> caught the attention of Quintianus, a uh, nobleman uh, with high diplomatic office, who felt that his office and his desire for her should be able to persuade her or dissuade her from her consecratory vows. Eventually, he became governor under the reign of Datius, the uh, an edict or decree uh, of persecution against the Christians was made law. Quintianus seized the opportunity then to have uh, Blessed Agatha arrested and brought before the governor, i.e. himself, to be tried. Despite all arguments, she would not be dissuaded from her vow. So it was that he ordered her to be imprisoned in a brothel for a month. There she suffered and endured all manner of beatings and resisted all manner of enticements to forgo her virgo intacto and to denounce her consecration vows. After a month and to no avail, he then ordered her to be put in prison and there to endure further torments, physical tortures, including having her dress ripped off. This, however, she still endured they even seem to grow stronger in faith and resilience. And, and a night in prayer was said to have been visited even by St. Peter the Apostle, who healed her wounds. This, of course, only served to enrage uh, 
Quintianus further, who then ordered her back to prison and with no food and yet more physical torment, this time being rolled in burning coals with uh, sharp uh, pieces uh, of metal shards. Even this did not kill her, though she did expire after giving her soul to God in around the year 251 AD. Agatha, of course, here uh, for this chapel, uh, relics are enshrined in our altar, or at least in the anti-mention over which the corporal is laid and where we offer the holy sacrifice of the Mass. You may remember earlier in the week we uh, mentioned uh, saints' relics and particularly those of martyrs and their suitable closeness to be connected with the passion of our Saviour, Jesus Christ, for whose love they, in love, surrendered themselves uh, to martyrdom. An interesting gospel you may think today where it uh, refers first in the first part to marriage before then perhaps to uh, virginity or at least to chastity and indeed one might recall the teaching of St Paul that it is better for those who cannot be chaste to seek marriage. In the first instance though my brothers and sisters we might all remember that as Christians we are called firstly to chastity we are first called to live our lives as pure and as innocent as we may. Even those of us who have sinned before and been absolved are to live again anew. Uh, we are to live a new life. Every time, my brothers and sisters, well, of course, we only receive baptism once, but the effect of baptism may be given to us again in the sacrament of reconciliation or penance when after receiving absolution we are returned as it were to that baptismal grace we receive it once again we become uh, a new person having died to the old self of sin so it is that those of us who are perhaps not called to marriage or perhaps have not been fortunate to find our one true love then we are all called to chastity irrespective of our sexuality irrespective of our uh, self-identity or how we identify ourselves. Each and every one of us who is not married is called to be chaste. And this, my brothers and sisters, would help a great many of us as Christians to explain the teacher's attitude towards those contemporary issues that others find so pressing at the present moment, because it is a rule that is common to all of us. It is a way of life in a discipline invoked and commanded of us all, as I say, irrespective of whom we are, or rather, even of what we are. We are all of us called to be chaste. And even within the sacrament of holy matrimony, we are spouses called to be chaste, faithful one to another, to the exclusion of all others, and even then uh, to enjoy the uh, act of procreation for the sake of the possibility of new life to be formed and conceived and born from the fruit of the sacrificial nature of love between man and wife. This, my brothers and sisters, has always been the teaching of the Church. It has always been the teaching of the Church that those who are not married are chaste and those who are married are faithful to the exclusion of all others and a chaste within themselves, committing only the act of procreation for its sake. Now these, my brothers and sisters, are indeed, uh, some find a, uh, a tall order, they find it a high bar. And it's true, my brothers and sisters, that many of us perhaps have failed or will fail. However, as I say, we always have recourse to the sacraments and to God's grace, we always have recourse to the sacrament of penance wherein in the tribunal of mercy we receive God's loving kindness and words of encouragement and wisdom and his words of blessing and absolution which remake us uh, anew as it were give us that flavour that we first received at our baptism of having the slate wiped clean we enter the confessional as the prodigal son to receive the warm embrace 
the loving embrace, the merciful and forgiving embrace of God our Father. Let us then, my brothers and sisters, particularly today, particularly in our own time, particularly in this season of Jessima too, where we are beginning to think about the spiritual condition of our lives and we may address them in the season of Lent to follow, let us consider the nature of the way in which we live our lives, the approach and the attitude we take towards the living of our lives as Christians. Are we pursuing after holiness? Are we striving after sanctity? Are we seeking to give glory to God in all our thoughts, actions, words and deeds? As St Paul mentions to us in today's epistle to the Corinthians, are we striving to be Christ-like? who, remember, himself gave of himself completely his life, his body, his soul, his divinity, that we, in like fashion, might become like him, that we may become perfect before God and worthy of heaven. And of course, my brothers and sisters, the Church is not so daft that she doesn't appreciate or realise that we, none of us, in our lifetimes are likely quite to receive or to become as perfect as we might be or ought to be simply because we are human. Nonetheless, those of us who avail ourselves regularly of God's supernatural grace may yet endure, may yet persist, may yet indeed transform and conform and change our lives such that we can become living, breathing, walking icons of Christ, of sacrificial love, toward God and toward and for each other and in such manner then to preach the gospel in word and deed to bring others to the saving knowledge of him who is God, Father, Son and Holy Ghost. Amen. Dominus obiscum et in spirito tuo. Parlemus. Aperentur regi vigines posteam, proxime eus aperentur tibi.
tu lorum. Amen. Dominus Vobiscum, et cum spirito tu sus un corda, habemus a Dominum, gracias a Gamus, Domino Deo nostro, dignum et justum est, vere dignum et justum est eco per salutare i nostri di sempre dubbi, quei gracias agere Domine Sante Patria et Omnipotere de Tere Deus, per Christum Dominum nostrum, per cum laude d'angeli, per cum estate in tuum laude d'angeli, adorando menaziones demon potestatel, Ceri cerum quei vetute de beate serve fim soci sot azione con celebran, con quei vos e nostri voci tutte mi ti uves e precamus, supplici confessi i nomi di genitris. Sanctus, 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 Dominus Deus Sacerdote, plenis un cieli et terra, gloria tua, osanna in excelsis. Benedicus tui venit in nomine Domini, osanna in excelsis.
tuo quei peccatori tu. Mia secula seculorum. Arre, sprecia di salutare i monete e divina soluzione pomati. Alle i nostri cieli, per le nostre requietigenze. Anche di cielo un uomo zoom, vieni a lei un po' fie volontà sua, sicuro in cielo e in terra. Alle nostre guadagnando nomi fogli, e vita di nomi, te vita nostra, sicure i nostri miti e servitori con nostri. E ne lo tu ducato in tentazione, amen. Te libera la nostra mano. Secula seculorum. Amen. Ex domini si semper voviscum. Et cum spirito tuo. Omnius te, vittori spettaculi, preservere il mondo. Omnius te, vittori spettaculi. Ece amnus Dei, ece quitole peccato mundi. Un domine non si vivus, ut in vesso tempo meum setanto vivremo et senavi cura anima mea. Un domine non si vivus, ut in vesso tempo meum setanto vivremo et senavi cura anima mea. Un domine non si vivus, ut in vesso tempo meum setanto vivremo et senavi cura anima mea. Brothers and sisters watching Mass online are unable, therefore, to receive the Blessed Sacrament. We invite you now to make an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that thou art present in the Blessed Sacrament. 
I love thee above all things, and I desire thee in my soul. Since I cannot now receive thee sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. As though thou wert already there, I embrace thee and unite myself wholly to thee. Permit not that I should ever be separated from thee. Amen. Dominus obiscum et in spirito tuo. Ordemus. Auxiliendo nobis domini sunta misteria et intercedente beata, Agata, Virgine et Martire Tua, Tempiterne protezioni confirmen, Per Domino nostro, Gaesu Christum Filio Tuum, Qui tecum divita regna ad unanimitati Spiritus Sancti Dei, Per omnia secula seculorum. Amen. Dominus Obiscum, et cum Spirito Tuo, Vida in Isa est, Leo gracias. In nomen Domini Benedictum, ex hoc nunc adusque in secula, ut ut nostrum in nomen Domini, prececi genum et terram, benedicat vos omnipotens Deum. Pater, et filius, 
a spiritual sound to us. Amen. Laudamus Vatiscum et in spirito tuo, et initium sancti Evangelii secundum Johannem. Gloria ti Domine. In principio et verbum et verbum et acudeum et Deus et et verbum, operat in principio acudeum, omni presum factus sunt et simso factus nihil quo factus est. In iso vita erat et vita erat nus omnium plus in tenebre, luce et tenebre et non comprehenderum. Voi come mi sono sedere con nome levati guardi, vi verite in testimoni, mo testimoni per vedere di lume e come è vero in filum. Non è vero le luce di tutti. Non è vero le luce di testimoni per vedere di lume. E le luce vera poi illumina donne, mamme, le mendicanti e il mondo. E il mondo è l'altro, il mondo è un fatto, se il mondo è un nome di oggi. Di proprio le verite che sono luce per un. Qualco ora te luce per un, te è verso le stati, un figlio se è fieri di tutti, prendi il nome e il Qui non è sanguinibus, né curantati sanus, né curantati vivi, tre sperunati sunt. Et verum, carru, factum est, et abitabit in nobis et divinus gloria, menus gloria, in quadrum genet e pace, utanum gratia e veritatis. Deo gratia. Blessed Lord, if you be blessed, I'm not more willing to bless this fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Now, may the blessed Lord, if you be blessed, I'm not more willing to bless this fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Now, may the blessed Lord, if you be blessed, I'm not more willing to bless this fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, hail our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry, poor banished children of Eve, to thee do we send up our cries, mourning and weeping in despair and tears. Fair and most gracious advocate, thine eyes of mercy toward us, and after this our next sound show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O God, who art our refuge and our strength, look down in mercy on thy people who cry to thee. By the intercession of the glorious and blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, St. Joseph, her spouse, of thy blessed apostles, Peter and Paul, of all thy saints, in mercy for this hear our prayers for the conversion of sinners and for the liberty and exaltation of our Holy Mother, the Church. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Holy Michael, Archangel, defend us in the day of battle. We are safe now against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray, and do thou, Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, thrust down to hell Satan and all wicked spirits who wander through the world for the ruin of souls. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, have mercy on us. May St. Catherine of Steny pray for us. May St. Edwina of Alfreston pray for us. May St. Richard of Chichester pray for us. May Our Lady of Walsingham pray for us. May our holy guardian angels pray for us. May our heavenly patron saints pray for us. May our Lady Queen of Heaven, all the angels and saints, pray for us.